self-love is so much deeper than bubble baths <laughs> and candles and like the things that we think of when we think of self-care or self-love like to love yourself is a radically transformative act and and in today's day and age where we're so just aligned to meeting other people's needs first whether that's business or family or anything um to take time and carve out time for ourselves to be with ourselves and by ourselves and for ourselves is radical in and of itself to be able to carve out time to do this work is also a really deep privilege to be able to have time to step away from whatever your other responsibilities are in life even if it's only for a few minutes at a time per day is mm -hmm. still is still is still a layer of privilege that i don't think that this industry gives enough articulation to i bought the bath bombs i bought the candles and i still don't love myself right i signed up for the program i started a business and I still don't love myself. I, I'm following all of the coaches and influencers, all the people that say, do this. Here's the formula. Do this thing. Then you'll love yourself. And then life is never hard again. That's not how this works. So I think when I talk about self-love and the struggle of it, first and foremost, we got to talk about like, let's break down what this actually is. It's not a movie. Life is not a rom-com. You don't get discovered. You don't get saved. To some extent, we have to save ourselves. And that's not to say from a selfish perspective. Again, we have to do this work for ourselves. And actually, it wasn't until I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes that I learned what that meant. You don't have to buy all the things. You don't have to send yourself on a 10-day silent retreat to get to this place. The second that we just allow ourselves to figure out a way to relieve ourselves physically, we were already starting to reconnect that self-trust and that mind-body connection. And then life will never be hard anymore. What I've learned in this journey, especially over the last six years, and I've been, I was trying to do this for like decades before, and hiking was the missing piece that clicked it all together. I thought... <laughs> that uh, I would stop learning these lessons once I learned them. And I thought, once I do the thing, then everything is fine and I will never feel pain again. I will never experience struggle again. It will be all sunshine and rainbows. And what's actually happening is, and I, I don't have children, I'm child-free by choice, but I liken my self-love, my self-growth, my self-trust journey to contractions. So like in prior chapters of my life, I would have some kind of thing that activated me and then it could take weeks or months or years or decades until I figured out like what was that thing that activated me and why does that impact my life today if you like this clip and you want to watch another click here if you want to watch the whole episode click here